and we have uh, welcome back I told you, stand in the note for four extra colors. Read the next note. We have discussed this about this coming up before itself. I did not tell the name because we have to discuss it separately. Another one is Kannad. One is an imported one from the Hindustani Sangeeta, Dakshinadi Sangeeta, rather Uttaradi Sangeeta. Dakshinadi Sangeeta is ours, Uttaradi Sangeeta is Hindustani Sangeeta, which has taken a It was called as Uttaradi Sangeeta only. Our Western Britishers left a lot of things for us, leaving everything. Apart, changing the names itself. Karnataka Sangeeta, which was always called as Karnataka Sangeeta, they changed it to Carnatic music. Carnatic music. It is not Carnatic music, it is Karnataka Sangeeta. Or you can say Karnataka music. 
Sangeetam means music. But you cannot say Karnatic, it's a wrong usage of the word. Tamil and Pesam Bhuguna, Namlan Sonu, Karnatakan Sangeetam, Karnatakan Sangeetam. We don't say Karnatic Sangeetam. We don't speak like that. So, it is like this. So, Andhuritam as a very good application in Karnataka music. In Andhuritam, is it same as Kambitam? See, there is Akshar Pramana Kala for each Gamakas. In uh, Kambitam, the Akshara Pramana Kala is one Akshara Kala. Whereas in Andhuritam, it is four Akshara Kala. You understand? You reach the next note, you should stand in the note for four akshara kalas. Four akshara means Sari Gama can't bite. But one, two, three, four. That is Andhurism and Dino. Just it merged with Shedja. In Andhuritam, the higher note can be played or heard while singing or moving the string. Can we give Gamkal to Parchama? I will give Gamkal to Parchama. You cannot. You cannot do that. Separate note, separately for Panchama, you cannot do that. But when you play Sangati, a slight reflection, reflection is allowed. But separately, not allowed. Prakriti Swaras, you don't have to give Gamaka. It's not allowed in Carnatic music. It's just very, very important to be understood. There are other Gamakas which is being mentioned. That's Harona Avaronam. It's also some people say this is a Gamaka. And uh, you had Moochanas. What is Moochana? In certain ragas, you have to produce Gamakas in order to show that it is a raga. Otherwise, you will not. You cannot feel that this is a raga. And that raga takes its shape only if it is stressed upon on certain nose. Otherwise, it, it does not appear to be that raga which you are doing. For example, Begada. <laughs> Do you understand it is Begara? You can feel the pulse of Begara? You cannot. Without the Gamaka, this Raga does not exist at all. You understand?
This is a Murchana presentation. So if you do the Murchanas only, then you get the reflection of the Raga. Otherwise, that Raga cannot be felt like that Raga. So what is the definition that we can say is, you can define Murchanas or Swara Sancharas which you use both in Arona Varona or in Arona or in Avarona to bring in the true color and bhava of Arada. So which is very very important. Then you have Jaru Gamaka. Jaru Gamaka is you know sliding which is very very prominent in oil. It has got the high efficiency rate in oil because it is a jaru instrument. It is called as a jaru instrument. Not that you cannot produce other gamakas. There was a great instance. We had a great idwan called as R.S. Keshum. R.S. Keshum. R.R. Keshum. Because there are two Keshamurthis. One is R.S. Keshamurthi is a Veena player. R.R. Keshamurthi is a violinist. Both are Keshamurthis and both are doyants of our Carnatic music. R.R. Keshamurthi was once attending a seminar in Gayan Samadha. Even I was there. I was very young at that time. R.R. Keshamurthi was sitting. The presenter, when he was explaining about the gamakas, he said, certain gamakas cannot be played on the violin. R.R.K. Sir, rose up, he said, anything can be played on the violin. If it cannot be played, it means that my efficiency is not good. You cannot say that that gamak cannot be, this cannot be played on this. But there are limitations, you know, that is there, you cannot, if you for example, Tribhinnam, we have a Gamaka called as Tribhinnam, which I am going to take now. What is Tribhinnam? You have to play three strings together, you have to pluck three swaras together, three notes at the same time, this. Certain swaras you can use, but also we could, people will call it as they'll start coming as a gimmick musician. He plays always all the three strings like like a guitar. <laughs> they forget, they forget it is one of the gamakas in uh, on Veena. It is called as Tribhinna. You should take all the uh, uh, what you call as prices also very well and receive the all the Whatever scoldings people give also very well. It is very important in life. You take samatham yoga muchate. Whether it is scolding or it is prices, you don't worry, you just keep your duty. Duty as you are doing. That's what Krishna says. That's what I am also doing. That we musician keep on doing it. Um, my friend Raghur Ram does so many works. But somebody says, what he is doing is not doing anything. That means it doesn't affect him. But he keeps on doing work. That is his, that is his yoga siddhi, what he has attained, because he keeps on doing his, his work. He organizes concerts for musicians, he performs himself, and he, he is a great poet, he is a great composer, likewise. So it is like, now, I don't want to deviate, because I was just giving an example. So, Murchana's Jaru, there is something called as Ekujaru and Tagura. What is Ekujaru? Ekujaru is rising the frequency up using a jar. Tagujaru is decrease in the descending order. Okay? 
you know plucking one and moving that kumpitam Mudritam is closing the lip and singing. Makara singing. For that, there's a last part which I'm 